Welcome to Electron Line. In our quest to understand what space is, and we do that through understanding and looking at the properties of space, one of the most perplexing things about space is that time is not the same everywhere in space. Now, when you're far away from any planets or moons or stars or galaxies, yes, then time seems to be a constant. Time progresses at a constant rate everywhere through space, except when you get to be close to a place where there's a gravitational field. When you place a mass in space, it does something to space around it. It causes light to bend in space, a change direction in space. It causes what appears to be the force of gravity. But even more perplexing, it causes time to run slower. And to give you an example, if we're on the Earth right here, we have GPS satellites that go around the world. They take about 12 hours each time we go around the, the world once. And we know that since those GPS satellites, even though they're about 20,000 kilometers away from the surface of the Earth, there's a gravitational field there of the Earth enough to slow down the GPS clocks they're made out of atomic clocks, but they run about 15 microseconds slower per day than they would if the GPS satellite was far away from the Earth in space. And then on the receivers on the surface of the Earth, they run 60 microseconds slower than they would if they were out in space. So there's a difference of 45 microseconds between the clocks on the GPS satellites and the clocks on the receiver. And because of that time difference, we have to constantly make up for that difference. We have to make sure we indicate that difference. We have to calculate that in our, all our calculations to make sure that the receiver knows exactly where they are on the surface of the Earth. If we then travel to the, towards the sun and we're able to get close to the surface of the sun, their clocks would run 180 milliseconds slower than they would if they were far away in space. And then if we go to a white dwarf, which is essentially the core of a star that has collapsed in on itself and only the electron degeneracy, the repulsive over the electrons, keep it from collapsing any further, those are about the size of the Earth, but they contain a, the mass of about 100,000 Earths. And on the surface of one of those white dwarfs, time will, will run 30 seconds per day slower than they do out in space. If we then go to the surface of a neutron star, which is only 12 miles across and ha contains about 500,000 times the mass of the Earth, well, that is so enormous in mass and so small in diameter that the gravitational forces are absolutely enormous on the surface and clocks will run six hours slower per day. And finally, if we make it all the way to the, to the black hole and we're at the event horizon of a black hole, that's the point at which if you're inside the event horizon, light simply can no longer escape because of the gravitational force. Well, at that point, the time would actually stop. So time progresses through in space differently depending upon where you are. If you're out in space, far away from any planets or stars or anything like that, time just continues at a normal pace. Anytime you begin to be in the influence of a gravitational field, time will begin to run slower. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower the time. And eventually, when you get to the event horizon of a black hole, time will simply stop moving forward. That's absolutely, absolutely astounding that everything, the way it progresses. So, for example, if a person were to be able to live on the surface of a neutron star, which of course is completely impossible, if you could, well, everything would run slower by about a quarter. Instead of a 24-hour day, you would have an 18-hour day, so to speak. Everything would simply progress slower. Time would just move forward slower. And when you get to the event horizon, time would actually stop. So how time progresses in space depends upon space itself. Normally, time progresses as it always does, but anywhere in a gravitational field, time will run slower. An absolute amazing property of space, and hopefully it gives us a little bit more insight of what space might actually be.